Oh. <laughs> Yay. Whoa. Penny and Maureen. Yay. How are you guys? There's Penny. Hey, Lisa. How are you today? Yeah, there you go. I say the top of Penny's head. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm doing good now. January, I fell and uh, fractured my hip. Oh, oh, that's horrible. But I'm doing good now. It's all healed and oh, good. good. Oh, good. Well, that that's good. I just got behind in everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that bad. that happens. <laughs> yeah. So. How was how was Maureen? She's doing pretty good. How are you guys? <laughs> good. How are you, Maureen? Hi. Hi. I I choose today to be a flock star. A flock star. A flamingo. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey Janelle. I love flamingos. <laughs> hey, hi Maddie. <laughs> Yay. Hi Janelle. Hello. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Janelle. And that no, is... I did not get a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You don't want to do that. No. <laughs> hey, you know what I want to talk about again, which I talk about all the time, but I want to talk about tonight too, is um, customer, the cards we send to the customers so that they have an awesome experience with us. That's what sets, I think that's one of the things that sets it apart, the card sending thing when you're dealing with a customer, because think of how few people that you buy from send you a thank you card. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so rare, really. I don't know about you, but I don't even remember the last time a company or a person that I bought from sent me a thank you card. Now, mm -hmm. once in a while, they'll do a social media post or something. But there, it it doesn't feel as good because I know they're doing the post to attract other business. They're thinking <laughs> publicly just to get more people to know what they do, which I can't fault them for that. That's fine, but it doesn't feel like a thank you, like it does when you get a card in the mail. I think. What do you think about that? I agree. Yeah. It so, always. I mean, go ahead. I mean, yeah, I think it's good to thank them publicly but it's almost kind of spammy though too where it's i like, guess it depends right like if they do it every time it's kind of it's like <laughs> i don't know i still like the card in the mail i guess that's the size of it and i still like yeah. sending the card in the mail you know i do thank people publicly when they send me something i don't necessarily thank my customers publicly when they buy from me because it feels a little, yeah, it feels a little yeah. odd, but, but I get, I, I get like why people that. do it. I get why people do it though. I do get it. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure that's something I'm going to do. But anyway, I would, I would only do that maybe if it was like in a private group. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. not because not everybody wants everybody to know that what they're spending their money on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a point too. That's a point, you know? Yeah. So Maybe if it was a private group, I might say I might do that because you know everybody in there and it's private and nobody outside can see your posts. Well, you know, I didn't mean to make it like that was a bad thing. It was more like the card sending is a good thing. No, yeah. and I, I completely agree. Right. I so, I, completely I get why agree. people do that. I just it is just isn't a strategy that I do. Hey Robin. Yay. Yeah. Hey. I'm, I'm just, trying to fool with this ring light thing and it's like you know, I think it's too much of a glare in my face. Oh, okay. I had, I've Not got today. one too, and I haven't. I've got one too, and I haven't. Uh, I just attempted. took it out of the box just now. Yeah, I haven't attempted. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, mine. I already had one before the Avon one, so I gave the Avon run one to my roommate. Ah, okay. They, they gave me one in the swag bag, right? Yeah, when we checked in at conference. Yeah, but man, that's a really glare in my eyes. I'm still seeing the light. Okay. Now the the sweat the um the light we got from Avon that was for something evidently because my guest didn't get one 
So what was that for? Do that you know? was if you were in President's Club, I believe. Oh, good. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that's hey. that's what they said it was for. Well, that's awesome. Hey, uh, yeah. Changing the subject real fast. The, um, I know this is send out carb and but this is what I have to say is about Avon. I checked the incentive hub and I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yay. So, it already says that I've earned 25 credits. So even if I don't meet the my goal, well, for I the will new, get a little bit. For the new bit. product, for the new product thing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, congratulations. That's awesome. that's awesome. Thank you. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I wanted to do right away is send a thank you card. So I've got one to send mm -hmm. so I can show you exactly what I do. This is, happens to be an Avon customer, but I also do it for my other businesses. So let's do share screen if you don't mind. Um, I do usually look to see what I sent them before. So I'm going to do just what I would do. So I noticed in my email that I have um, from Avon right here. Oh, and it's yeah. a customer. And it's Sharon, and I know I know her. She's right here from my town, but she always orders online. So I'm going to write down her name and how much she spent just because if it's over a certain... Usually I write them all down and then do them all at once, but I'm going to do this one with you right now. And then I'm going to go to Send Out Cards, which uh, runs better in Google Chrome, in case you're wondering yeah. why I do that. And I'm going to look her up the history of her card, my cards to her so that I don't send her the same looking uh, thank you twice. I do that that's, too, yeah. That's so, a good idea. I haven't been yeah. doing that. Well, it's just because I send a lot of thank yous and Sharon's a good customer. So I know there's some odds that I'll have sent her one. So you can look somebody up on in contacts. When you look them up, I'll show you there's a place. And I wouldn't have to put her whole name to find her, but it's easy. Uh, then you check it and then do history. And it'll show you all the cards I've ever sent her. And so I'm glad I looked because this one is the one I've been sending a lot lately. And that Alex did that front for me. And oh, then nice. I've done one. Uh, that is actually an information card that she would have gotten a few days before her thank you. And that just was, um, here's a recipe for a fruity drink, that kind of card. And then that kind of thank you. There we go. Oh, and that kind of thank you. So I know which one I want to send now. Okay. So yay. And she's gotten 33 cards. So she's a long time, good customer of mine that lives right near me. And she always orders online. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to make one for her. And which one I'm going to do is let's do build your own and do an up and down one. I'm going to customize and do a two panel. If you don't mind, if you have um, something to ask or add, pop right in. But I'm okay, going yeah. to move along, okay? I, I have something to ask. Please. Um, when you, like just your regular cards that you send to the customers not thank you cards not mm -hmm. promotional cards just cards because yeah how often do you send those to your customer um my goal is quarterly okay so every three months i want them to get a card in addition to whatever else they would have got so sharon would get one she just got one from me and she also is going to get thank you cards. So it has no bearing on whether they got a thank you card or not. I try to send them my uh, campaign mailer list quarterly. Okay. Okay. Because I, I didn't know, like, I was trying to send out, like, once a month. Is that too often? And I'm, like, just... No, and matter of fact, that doesn't, the, the card I'm talking about doesn't include Facebook espionage cards. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, they they might get more than they might get monthly from me if you included everything that gets sent out. So you okay. saw Sharon's history that I recently sent out about the book because one of my other customers found me promoting the book and was so happy. I thought, well, maybe the other customers will be happy to know that. <laughs> so I sent them all the card too. So um, usually they probably do end up getting monthly from me. It's just... Okay. Um, that one particular kind of card, which is the, here's a fruity drink recipe and here's how to plant a garden with a 
a rose or something, I, I grab some um, like how to value add graphics off of Facebook mm -hmm. card and send it. And that's probably quarterly. Okay. So then there's another card going out right now that I'm working on the list. And that was, um, I just got back from the Avon convention. Here's a sneak peek of stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. That's another card that they're all getting. And then, okay. and then I have espionage ones and thank you cards and birthday cards and anniversary cards. So they're likely getting monthly from me. The customers are. Okay. okay so I, don't, I don't think that's too much. Not okay, at all. Good. Well, is it, that's like saying um, too many kisses from your husband. You know what I mean? I don't know that can you have too many really, isn't that? No. <laughs> so anyway, this uh this particular thing I've been sending lately, this is a picture I got off of Facebook. I don't I think it's Pat Falaska now that I think about it. And it's just a pretty picture that she posted that I grabbed. So I grabbed That's pictures pretty. like this, and then mm -hmm. I'm gonna add the word thank you just in the middle of it. Thank you. Just something different. Um, it kind of looks like a stock card that they would have. I'm going to make it a little big. I'm going to make it um, homemade apple. And I'm also going to make it red so it stands out. And then I'm going to move it down here. And that's that's the front of the card. Just quick and easy. And it looks, I think it kind of cool that it's so candid. It's just somebody's picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in here, what I do on the thank you card is I usually do um, the pictures, this this one with a whole bunch of pictures. And I'm going to say something about just being at the convention for Sharon. So I'm going to put a bunch of pictures from the convention. So these are all ones I didn't actually go in the um, the hall where they had the products. I stole all of these off of Facebook. So if you didn't go to the convention, you can do the same thing I did. <laughs> You, you don't have to feel like you needed to be there and get all these pictures yourself because I didn't I didn't I, when I went down there I didn't go there to see the products in the hall I went to see the other people mm -hmm. so I spent mm -hmm. all my time talking to the other people I didn't worry about because I knew I was going to be able to get all these pictures because everybody and their brother posted them right that's true so I'm just going to put a bunch of the pictures that I grabbed off of Facebook and then put like a red background because it's Christmassy. Usually on um, Avon, I always use red or white. Those are their main colors, sometimes black, red or white and red. Um, for example, if I'm doing like Hempworks, I do green. So I stay in a color, uh, like a color family. Then I'm going to say, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon for your recent online Avon order. Um, let me move that, okay. I really appreciate your continued business. I thought you might like a sneak peek at the upcoming holiday products that are Coming soon to an, an Avon brochure near you. Just being funny. <laughs> right. Uh, um, these pictures, I can't say I took them. These pictures were taken at the convention, at the Avon convention, at the Avon convention in Washington, D.C., D.C., that I just return from that isn't even a good sentence is it return from mm -hmm. okay from which no. i just returned would be better mm -hmm. yeah oh that's peg oh, okay from <laughs> which i just returned from which okay you want me to switch it <laughs> from which uh from the whole from rest which i just returned yeah okay, i got it i got it from <laughs> well from from which i just returned how about that? From which I just returned. There you go. As always, thank you for allowing me to to be your Avon lady. From 
Lisa Wilbur. Okay. Now I always read it twice to make sure I didn't say something stupid. Thank you, Sharon, for your recent online Avon order. I really appreciate your continued business. I thought you might like a sneak peek. That's peaks wrong. See, that's why I reread it. A sneak peek at the upcoming holiday products that are coming soon to an Avon brochure near you. These pictures were taken at the Avon Convention, Washington, D.C., from which I just returned. As always, thank you for allowing me to be your Avon lady. Okay, now I'm going to highlight it, make it my own personal font, and then I'm going to put just a little peachy background that will match this. And then I'm just going back here and change the back to my Avon customer back that I have saved, which is this one. And you see it has my link to the my shuffle card with all my Avon links. And also my Avon stuff is here and my headshot. And then that's it, proceed to cart. Thank you, Peg. I didn't even know you were there because I was on share screen. I snuck in when you weren't looking. <laughs> I tiptoed in. Tiptoed. Tippy toed. Add recipients. And that would be Sharon. Sharon. I, I can do her last name. She's the only one I've got with that last name. There we go. And then we're going. And then check out. And this one is included in my that's a heartfelt card. That's the beauty of the thank you note is that it's included as a heartfelt. Lisa, yeah. can I ask you a question? I yes, just please. did. See, I did. So how did you get the, are you using the upgraded editor to do the words on top of that flower? No, that um, you can do it on the cover. The only panel, let me go off. Um, the only panel that allows you to add a text block when you make it yourself, the card yourself, is the front. Okay. So when you put anything on the front, you can add one text box. So I can't what do you press to box? put a text box. No, let's let's do it again. And I'll I'll mail you one. Let's do a different one. Well, you don't you don't need to mail me one. Just if you just Okay, I'll show you. Okay. So it and a, it's a build your own. Build your own, okay. yep. Yeah. Got it. And then um it, it works sure. on any of them. Customize okay. and then two panel. Okay. And then current editor, I'm using mm -hmm. the old one. I'm not using the new one. Right. I don't know if the new one allows you to do it or not. I just know the old one does. So I'm going to put whatever I put here. So I did this to a customer yesterday. Okay. And then up here, text. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Yep. Can you do more than one? No. Like, can you do the, no. the, like the happy birthday? Okay. No. No. Okay. But you can and, put two or three lines in the text. Yes. Box. Yes. And you can make it big. You can make it colored. You can make it all kind of stuff, but one box. So <clears throat> if you want to, like, like, say I wanted to put this is gorgeous at the top and 2023 at the bottom, I would need to do that ahead in Canva and then bring it over there. But if you only want one line or one word or one something, you can do it in the build your own just on this panel if in the inside it won't it doesn't give you the option gotcha thank you yes certainly yay so so i got i got sharon i mailed her her card yay so that's what i do every day is to get them out of my email i don't i don't delete it from my email until i've sent the thank you card okay and the other time i do is um, there's a handful of customers, this is against my own rule, by the way, that pay me when they get their order. <laughs> and you know, I don't go for that as payment with order. <laughs> but um, if they paid me with the order, they get a thank you card then too. So some of my people get more than one thank you card. So now I was thinking I've got like two customers left that pay me when they pick up uh, here at the drop off shed. And I send them a uh, thank you card when I, so they know I've got the payment. So, so mm -hmm. I sent them one when they took the order and I sent them when I got the payment. So some people would get two with every order, but doesn't that encourage the behavior you don't want to encourage about not paying ahead? 
Right. But I've only got two left. That's the okay, thing. Gotcha. Yeah. I, uh, I most don't... of my customers pay me when they get their order, but I've had them for over 15 years. So. Right. And I don't offer that anymore. So I know them. Right. So what I do now, uh, Peg, for brand new customers is when someone calls me and reads me what they want, I would, I would say, how did you want to handle that today? Or which credit card did you want to use? Like that. Yeah. I usually say which credit card, because that's, that's, what I'm going to be able to deal with. I don't really want them to say a check. So I did have one lately. She is a new customer. She was a referral from someone else. She lives down in uh, Massachusetts. I don't know her. I do know who referred her though. But anyway, she said that rep went out and that's how I got her. And she always paid her. And I said, well, I, I must have a different arrangement with Avon because I have to pay ahead. And I don't pay for somebody else's order ahead. So I'm going to need you to pay for your order now. Which credit card would you like to use? She said she doesn't have a credit card. And I said, well, that's no problem. Um, I can take Zelle or PayPal or Venmo. Uh, no, not Cash App. Cash App's the other one. And I, uh, she said, I don't know anything about that. And I said, okay. She said, I want to send a check. I said, you can do that. And I don't mind that. But you're going to have to wait for me to get the check and for the check to clear your bank for me to submit the order. She said, well, those prices still be good. I, and I looked them up. I said, all of them, but this one. She says, but that one I want. I said, well, then maybe you want to think of a different way to pay. So she got her her daughter to PayPal me the money. Okay. And it was a $93 order, but I just didn't waver off of it. And that's how it worked. She. But what do you do if an item doesn't come in? I looked them up before I took the money. So it would have to be, um, it would have had to gone out of stock between the time. And well, and the other thing is I substitute and tell them Avon substituted. Okay. I, so if it's something close and the money's close, I do it. Okay. So I, matter of fact, you know what happened lately is um, uh, somebody wanted something backward and it was given a free bath brush. Um, and she gave me the order too late. So I couldn't back order and I couldn't get the bath brush. Now, normally you would probably think to yourself, well, I'm going to pay for the bath brush and then just to make the customer happy. But what I did was I put her order in, she'd given me her credit card. It was the same amount of money. I put her order in as a customer. So I changed the bill to and shipped to and my customer account to her customer account and had it shipped to her. And when you do that, Avon sends a free gift. And right now it's the, um, uh, a new LX new uh, bomb, that bomb stick, mm, which nice. is worth way more. It's worth about $24 and the bath brush was worth about 10, I think. So what I told her was, they didn't have the bath, br bath brush in stock when I placed that order, they substituted the bomb stick instead. And that's kind of true. She got the bomb stick free for placing a $60 order in that campaign. Right. The bath uh, brush was not free anymore because she waited too long to tell me her order. So I just made the circumstance fit and had it shipped to her. And she was fine with it, especially since the bomb stick is worth way more money than the bath brush. Two and a half times more. Right. Yeah. So I think that you have to think through the circumstance and because you want to protect your profits, you know, you may say to yourself, well, she really wanted the bath brush, but how do you know? You know what I mean? So I'm going to pay you. I think that's the first blush thing is you think, well, she really wanted the bath brush. So I better find a way to make sure she gets the bath brush or she's going to be mad about it. And the reality is she wasn't because she didn't know. It was out of it was out of stock when she told me because she waited too long because we no longer can back order. So I made the circumstance fit and the way it went. And she was happy. You know, the other day I had a new customer call me and um one of the items she wanted, we don't it's out of stock on on our site. So I called because I'm so close to California. I called the warehouse, you know, I called 1886 in California and I had it shipped over. Mm -hmm. Dummy me, I should have had her whole order shipped over. Instead, oh, I paid yeah. that $8 and then I and then paid the other. 
Um, well, and the reason I'm bringing up what happened is because if you, it's not a bad thing to think about your protecting your profit as well as making the customer happy. So yeah. sometimes you can make the customer happy and protect your profit because you, it's to to the customer's benefit for you to be profitable because if you're not in business, they can't buy anything from you. Yeah. You can't help them with any of their stuff. Yeah. So I you want to protect your profit. A lady called me yesterday and she's like, Maureen, I met you last year at a vendor show, but she's on my campaign mailer. So I must've got her information. She's already got campaign 19 books. She called and gave me an order for campaign 19. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yay. Yeah, it's a hundred dollar order. Whoa, that's wow. awesome. Yeah. You know what else happened? Um, we do this Zoom meeting. And I do this because I like making cards. Really. <laughs> and I was going to do it anyway. So I'm thinking, why not do it with my friends? That's pretty much the size of it. We've been doing this for a long time. And I post them on my YouTube channel. I got no, called um, by someone yesterday. I would say called. It was a text message. Um, she joined, sent out cards with my ID. And she wanted um, Brenda Rulo's information because I've showed Brenda's card about Watkins. So I was able to give a referral to Brenda. And that's from doing this. Yeah. So remember the whole rule. You can be successful at anything if enough people know what you do. This is just doing something I would do anyway. I would be making cards now anyway. And I thought, well, I might as well just do it on the Zoom. So we all can. <laughs> it's like making cards with my friends. <laughs> right? Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I may, I spend so much time making cards anyway. <laughs> you must do that too, Peg. Peg's a big send out cards. I Her. am a big send out carder. A carder. A <laughs> carder. <laughs> yeah, I, I am I'm like a caddy card sender though, because that lady that was in the group that said she was so happy to hit ten thousand, I went lightweight. <laughs> 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 that is so mean of me. No, because well, I want to know five, if, I think. how do you have the time to do a one? How do you have the time to do send out cards plus also promote your book? I mean, it's like mercy. <laughs> but but you know that there's that's why I do little bits every day. So I have like all these tasks to do, but I only do a few and I don't do tomorrow's work today. I only do today's work today. So like with sent out cards, um, I do, I clear my, my email of customer thank you cards every day. That's one of the things that I get done. And chances are there won't be more than a couple or three of them. I haven't had a day where I had a whole bunch of Avon customers in one day, right? And then there's a list of other sent out cards, things that I send five a day. That's my thing is five a day. So I probably send 25 out that way. And if you think about it, then it's not a huge thing. And then the other cards I would send you as send out cards would be like Facebook espionage. And those are usually on the phone. And those are usually because I'm sitting there looking at Facebook for some other reason. Somebody's picture comes up. And I'm like, oh man, that would be a good card. So it's not. And once you're doing them for a long time, Janelle, I think you can make a card in like a minute. They're not necessarily the best cards you've ever made in your life, but they're fast, you know, fast and dirty, right? I spent <laughs> a lot of time this week doing Facebook espionage on all my friends and family that have their back to school pictures of kids or grandkids. Mm -hmm. And um, I know next week I'll get some messages like, oh my God, that's so cool. How did you do that? Those are the ones I like best. How did you do that? I'm like, let's, let me show you. <laughs> yeah. And you know, tonight I'm going to talk about the um, 10 card challenge. So they have a thing in sent out cards right now that, um, and Janelle's already got a customer that signed up for it. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Then I've got, um, I just had another lady too. Yet last night I had sent her and her husband an anniversary card. And when I send anniversary cards, I like to find pic their wedding pictures and put them in the cards anyway. So she messaged me, thanked me. And how did you do that? <laughs> so I told her, it's with the company I'm affiliated with. So she signed up. She hasn't got a subscription yet, but hey, at least she signed up though. Does she know about the 10 card challenge? 
Yeah, I told her about it. Ten so cards, good. twenty dollars includes the postage. It's the best deal ever. Yeah, yeah and that's uh, get people to see what it's like. I think, and the the stories from the cards, I think, is the neatest thing. Did you know when you go to a, a send out cards event? I think that's the thing that's the coolest. Is like the first ones I went to. Um, I was expecting, like when you go to an Avon convention, they talk about face cream or they talk about the new lipstick color. They have people up there doing makeovers or whatever it is. Um, the sent out cards uh, convention I went to, they never talked about making cards. They didn't show us how to make cards. They didn't They didn't like have the big screen up there and walk you through, none of it. We didn't, never talked about, <laughs> we never talked about making cards. All we talked about is how the person reacted that got the card. They had people come on and give testimonies about getting a card. The uh, Cody told stories about cards he sent that had really big reactions to them. It was just so funny. I, I expected some, I don't know, them to talk about making cards somehow. <laughs> and that wasn't it at all. So the whole thing about the this sent out cards is not the sending of the card. It's the receiving of the card. So I think it's that the joy that, you send out into the world. Yep. So the Facebook espionage ones are probably the best ones, of course. Um, the couple examples I wanted to show you today aren't that though. Um, this one's from Maureen. Maureen. Maureen's uh this is the postcard for the Avon has a raffle that they do. Sweet and face. all you have to do is direct people to the raffle what'd you say robin the sweepstakes yep the sweepstakes sorry the sweepstakes so they have the picture all done for you you don't have to do that you can just pop the picture on once you make this card once she can just alter it for next the next mm -hmm. sweepstakes with the next picture and she has her qr code here it takes her to her store yes it takes us right to the sweepstakes nice Mm -hmm. well, that's that's awesome. And um, I like ones that have some kind of uh, uh, value add situation. So this is the one I showed of Brenda's before. She sells Watkins and Watkins mm -hmm. is like bacon stuff, uh, spices, mm -hmm. uh, little mixes and all that stuff. And she made uh, pumpkin mousse pie. So she put a picture of the pumpkin mousse pie on the front. And it's baking with Brenda. And then nice. inside, she put the recipe. And what I thought was so smart about it is in the recipe, it doesn't just say a half, a, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. It says one and a half teaspoons of Watkins ground cinnamon. So she inserted her own products in the recipe. Mm -hmm. And then in the, so this is the recipe ingredients. This is the instructions for the recipe. Those are pictures she actually did the recipe. And then she went and made a word search using the recipe words. Oh, how so, cool. So the customer, and translate that to Avon, for example, since I know a lot of you are Avon. Um, how about the uses for skin so soft or the, um, uh, that cute little, it doesn't have to be that informational. There's also a cute one about um, what does your lipstick look like? And it tells about your personality. Have you seen that one? Yeah. So how do you do your lipstick? So any graphic that would be fun or informational um, would, would work in this situation. Or you could do like, um, she sent me one that she did. Brenda's also an Avon representative where she took my picture and went into um, the try on a product thing and tried the new lipstick on my picture and then oh, that's sent, a good idea and then sent all the pictures of me wearing the new lipstick so I gotta write could, these ideas down <laughs> yeah you could do that for the customer so the customer opens up the card and it's the customer with your new lipstick on so they can see exactly what they're going to look like with the new lipstick on I thought that was genius if Brenda did yeah. it mm -hmm. And you can do that on your on the customer site for Avon. It doesn't say it has to be your picture. Okay. And then on the back here, she says, um, she just says enjoy and another picture of the pie. And then of course her logo on the back. But I love that one. And then the, this one I like too is uh, Scola. Uh, we, 
she's not Scola anymore and she's Mullins, right? Mullins. Yeah, Mullins. yeah. Mullins. Yeah. Mullen, Mullins. It's, you Mullins. know, it's like Seinfeld with what's his name? The Newman. <laughs> Newman. Mullins, right. But anyway, Scola, we call each other last names because we're both Lisa's, I think. But she made this one up a while back for the coupon codes, which we still have the ability to do that. She sends all of the coupon codes. So the the thing with this card, though, is you got to do it immediately because the campaign lasts for two weeks. This has right. to go the day one. This has to go out the first day to make sure they get it in time to be able to use it. And she sends all of the coupon codes to all of her customers and then sends them this card. And it has the coupon code choices. What you get for each coupon code. Okay. So she just does a save the save the picture off of each one, pulls it up on that the make your coupon code page. And then explains here, um, uh, she's giving you an opportunity to pick your own coupon code. So you pick exactly what you want instead of her picking it for you is what she's saying. And then make sure you add the free brochure because a lot of people don't think about that. The other thing I didn't know is when you log into, and she puts the instructions up here, when you log into Avon.com as a customer, if the under your name is a red dot, if you've sent out the coupon codes, and if the customer clicks on the red dot, it'll tell you these deals to choose from. Oh. And I didn't know that either. It'll only tell you the deals that you set up. So you've got to set these up. Okay. But I thought that was genius of her. And then she put a recipe using a, one of our products, which is the um, pineapple core. So that, I thought that was neat. But there's lots of products that we could do that with in Avon's. Uh, you know, put either a recipe or a uses, the many uses of bubble bath or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So you her product. But she did her whole thing based on the pineapple this time on this particular card. And, and you this, know, go ahead. Anybody using the protein drink, the protein powder? Yeah. You could do that and give recipes for the protein powder. That'd be perfect, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the whole the whole thing for me is um, not every time, but sometimes uh, give some value in the card. And I consider it value if it's interacting. So like um, a word search or a crossword puzzle, which you can make those free, um, even laughing. So a meme or a cartoon in the card and I get all, almost all my stuff off of Facebook. If I see something cute on there, I'll grab it, including a flower out of somebody which we just used. Mm -hmm. So I'll grab whatever I see and say, oh, that would be good. Put that in a card, you know what I mean? And I think showing the customers ahead what's coming up is valuable because they can make their plans. Also um, uh, doing um, word, uh, you know, where you have one word and you have the other word and they go have to find the ones that are associated. Mm -hmm. I've also done Avon history trivia, which you can find online if you Google. If you don't know it yourself, you could also Google that. So you could Google or or you could do um, chat GPT. You could say, uh, give me four bits of Avon products history and it'll come up with, uh, I usually ask for way more than I want. So I can pick the ones I like, but you could do that. You could also, matter of fact, using that chat GPT thing, you could also have it write you a poem about Skin So Soft and it'll do it. So a, po a poem, I bet, po I don't say that right, do I? Poem, poem, mm -hmm. there we go. I say poem, poem, okay. Um, I've been doing the poem lately for people that have, um, uh, I did one for, oh, Matthew Elmer from The Go-Giver. He had a nice picture of him and his wife. I went on chat GPT and said, write me a love poem for Matthew and Kelly. And it did. And it came up and I screenshotted it and um, put it on the back of a flat card and put their picture on the front of the flat card and sent it as kind of like a Facebook espionage thing. It wasn't their anniversary or anything. It was just a something fun to do. Yeah. So, 
but that's it ju I, to me it just adds value um to do and most people are like oh i can't believe you put so much effort into the card when really it wasn't that <laughs> it just looked like it because you know like coming up with a word search or coming up with a thing you don't just do it once you can reuse those things mm -hmm. so so i've been talking too much talk to me talk to me about oh. your idea i'm starting Hi. to collect my um halloween stuff i found a recipe i oh. think it was on facebook for hocus pocus for, i think it's hocus pocus brownies oh that's good yes yeah, so i wonder if they're to gonna do the boo box this year have you heard peg that was a I good have not heard. Oh, I have not I, heard. I liked that last year. What's the boo box? It was like um a little kid toy and a couple brownies or something in a box that said you've been booed. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it had a special Halloween thing. I as a matter of fact, I sent them to Jeff's grandkids last year. And it was kind of cute because they're the little kids. I don't think I know many other little kids other than his grandkids, so but yeah. But it was cute. Sometimes they do stuff like that. So I'll call customer service and ask them. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, my, what are you going to um, say, Janelle? My husband's birthday is next week. And so I sent him, I made him a card and sent him some of the chocolate brownies. So. Oh, that's awesome. He, he got them the other day. So. Did he like them? He really liked the brownies. He actually gave me a bite of the brownie. <laughs> he probably did better. <laughs> yeah, the brownies is, uh, as far as I know, the first gift they ever offered and their most popular gift that they they offer. I know I personally must have sent hundreds, maybe even a thousand brownies. So, because mm. I do those a lot. And every time I've sent those to... Um, downline members for birthdays if they're presence club or above or in leadership for years i've done that and um every time i've tried to deviate and send something else i get a note <laughs> and it says <laughs> i like these but i was hoping for brownies because that's what i was expecting because <laughs> you always send brownies right? so i've gone back to brownies after switching but <laughs> yeah, yeah i like i can't remember who it was in the group had posted that her mom or her aunt was turning 80 and was trying to get like 80 cards my mom's turning 80 in december so i, I think i'm going to do that closer Ooh, that's a great december. idea mm -hmm. so, yeah oh you should put it in the group so everybody yeah and you yeah. know that's also a good way to promote people signing up with you for send out cards because they can send one card free i believe if you're on a subscription do you do you happen to be on a subscription? No, so, or yes, you. I am. You know? uh, yeah, I'm on the unlimited. Oh, good. Okay, so you can you can have people come on and send a free card one time if they've never sent a card using sent out cards before. They can send a free card. So you could say, send my mom a free card, and here's a free way to do it. You can go on and mm -hmm. send card that's a good idea i'm gonna write that down <laughs> and you usually why it's good too is because once they see how easy it is to do they want to send cards to other people who want to do it but yeah that, i thought i'd posting your send out card group too then closer to her birthday because yes she loves do. getting cards <laughs> do they know yet yeah. pig so i spoke with danielle at customer service she doesn't know yet but she's pretty sure they're going to do something because it was a big seller. Yeah. So I yeah. think it won't be the same. It'll be different. And that's good because then you can send it to the same the kids same again. People. It'll be totally mm -hmm. different product inside. Right. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's perfect. So I and said, you... please put a vote in that people are calling and asking for it. Awesome. So, Thank yeah. you. And uh, I'm right about this, right? Peg, my, about pleasure. my pleasure. My <laughs> pleasure. I'm right about this, that... If you're on an unlimited subscription, a potential customer can send a card free. Yeah, that's part of the program. Yeah. I just did a walkthrough with a realtor yesterday to send her first free card. And she said she was going to do the 10 card challenge. Now, while I had help desk on the line, I said, oh, by the way, did this person? And they go, no, not yet. And I said, okay. 
<laughs> one down, one down, and that one to go. I'm glad you're going to talk about the ten card challenge tonight. That's good. Yeah. So, hey, when yes. you do the walkthrough, do you do like a Zoom? Do you do? Or we were on. We were on Zoom, and I had her share her screen so she could be the one doing it. Okay. And I just coached her through what to do. Okay. Oh, that's smart. I didn't think about that. Make her do the one and share the screen. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm familiar enough with it that I can say, okay, go here, go there. Do this, do that. I know we're not going to do this, but let me just show you the different colors. Let me show you. Okay, now we're going to go back to making the card and blah, blah, blah. And at the end, she pushed the button and you made the world a better place came up, you know, like it does. So, yeah. Now, that's awesome. That That's the same theory as we were talking on Tuesday. I know uh, some of you are on my Tuesday thing for my Avon team is um, I'm what I do is when someone uh, says something to me about like what I'm wearing, like this ring, for example, if they say, oh, I like that ring, I don't say anything. I go. And they take it and put it on try it this this is every time this happens but they'll say oh i like that bracelet i immediately take the bracelet off and and hand it to them and <laughs> you you look every single person takes it and puts it on that's what they do when you hand them a ring or hand them a bracelet they take it from you and put it on that's my ring yes oh how did that happen my i wear mine a lot because I forgot to take it off when I washed my hands and then I dried it with a towel and it, it just oh. broke. Yeah. yeah custom jewelry, Not worth uh, it to send it back because what they charge you for return shipping. So right. I'm just going to order another one and try and remember to take it off when I wash my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a rule about that. You know, I live by rules because uh, custom jewelry, you can't, you're not supposed to be getting it wet. Right. So I take I all of my rings off when I wash mm -hmm. my hands. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I haven't had this one break or the other one. Uh, the the owl one I've been wearing a bunch too. But anyway, this like is the, the same owl. thing. You know, when we had stuffed animals, it worked the same way. You, I would walk around with a stuffed animal, and I didn't even say anything about it. Someone would say, "Why are you lugging around a teddy bear?" And I didn't say anything. I handed it to him, and every single person took it from me. And hugged it. <laughs> every, every single person hugged it. That's what they did. And you know, I do that when I we have the Halloween. I mean the the Christmas stuff. So like, I'll buy one. Last year, I think I was doing it with the carousel because that was my favorite. I'll I'll be just lugging it around with me, and they'll say, "What's that?" And I turn it on and hand it to them. Mm -hmm. and they stand there and look at it moving <laughs> around and then usually they start messing with it and turn it on and off and they start looking it all over and I don't say anything I just you know usually it gets down to where they're saying how much are these or how soon can I get one of these or something like that but that works with rings it works with bracelets it works with hand cream even and um, if you don't want to like if you don't want to say something I can, you can sit there and just be looking at a card you've sent and they'll be like, oh, what's that? You'd be surprised because I do that with brochures too. I'll be sitting there looking at my own brochure in the waiting room with a bunch of other people and they'll be like, oh, what's that? People are nosy and, and pay attention mm -hmm. to what they're doing. So, and you can do that with cards too. I sit there with all my cards and I have them in a little binder and everything and they'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, what's that? Yeah, I'll show you. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I always go, oh, I'm so sorry. Just blurt out the whole thing about this, but I really, really like it. It's awesome. So what do you, what do, you do, Peg? How What's your best way to tell people about it? My favorite way is to send them a card and then have them call and say, how did you do that? That's my oh, favorite like way. That. Yeah. And like when that. I'm networking, I say, when was the last time you got something in the mail that made you smile. We so often get that bulk rate mail or the um, bills and it's so nice to get something. You know how that feels. Why don't you send that same feeling to somebody else? You know, what I did want to add here is um, I know I'm not the only one that's goofed up. I've goofed up 
plenty. You goofed I just, up? What? Yeah, I goof up all the time. I just Ooh. don't necessarily talk about my goof ups all the time. I try to talk about the stuff that worked. <laughs> but so a customer gave me a referral. Oh my God, it had to be a year ago. She gave me the referral. The customer called me on the phone. I found it in my voicemail lately. We're talking like a year out. Now, I could have just ignored it and thought, well, she's not going to buy from me after all this, right? I didn't do that. I sent her a card. And I didn't say, oh, my God, I didn't contact you because I'm an idiot. I didn't say, I just <laughs> said, good to meet you. And I said, um, my, you know, I said my customer's name, thought you might like to see a brochure, so a brochure's on the way. And I added her to campaign mailer. She's ordered twice, and they both were $100 orders. So I guess what I'm saying is if you goof up, just jump back in and, and do what you were going to do back then. Don't be so embarrassed that you goofed it, that you don't take care of it. Just take care of it when you, when you get to it and just jump back in. And I've done that with stuff like, um, you know, not being consistent with something. As soon as I'm able to be consistent again, jump back in and be consistent again. And I just try to make it, shorter between between goof ups you know what I mean because I'm I you know I have problems too just like everybody else consistency problems but I try to make it smaller the amount of time that I fell off the wagon until the time I dragged myself back up on it so if I'm not consistent with my five cards a day like if I skip a day or even skip like a weekend or something I try to make sure as quickly as I can to get back on the horse so that I can get the consistency going again. So, cause it doesn't matter how many times you fall off, right? It only matters if you stay off, you know what I mean? If you get back on, you're back in business. So, and I think that's been true with my whole direct sales thing. You know what I mean? You yeah. end up getting hot and cold. You don't mean to do it or something comes up and happens. It's just getting back in. You know, getting back to business, getting back doing what you're supposed to do. So, yes, indeedy, which includes letting more people know what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna. I've started um because I get distracted so easy and I overthink everything. I've started to set a timer on my phone, so I do okay. like 15 minute blocks, where in that 15 minutes I do send out cards or I do, um. Avon or I do something but I do do blocks on my phone and I'm finding it that's working for me because I I like shiny objects so I get very <laughs> I mean because if I go on to, to do the cards and I go to Facebook to look for something oh wait now there's a post oh wait now I have to go to TikTok to see you know so I, I'm finding the the block really works you know, it gets me focused on sent out cards because I keep I, my one of my things is, um, right. How can I get more people to know what I do today? That's one of the main things. And sent out cards can help me do that. The other one is how can I I it sound it doesn't sound right, but how can I touch someone or or have contact with someone today? And sometimes that's going to be in person. Sometimes that's going to be uh, texting them. Sometimes it's going to be Facebook Messenger. But always, for me at least, it's usually cards too. So there'll be a certain number of texts, a certain number of messengers, a certain number of cards. So it's in my repertoire because it's so effective. You know, when it gets past the time that it's right to be messaging somebody, I can do my cards because <laughs> there's no, you know, they're not going to know that I was trying to do something with them that day, but I can still feel like I had an effect on somebody that day. Because, with you know, with a big team or a big prospect list or a big network that you're working, you need to be able to be reaching out and touching what? How many people per day? What, what do you count on, uh, Peg? Because I know you're a big networker. I try to do at least like 10 or so. Yeah, 10 to 12. 10 and, to 12. you know, like you said, text message, just an out of the blue. Hey, thought of you today. How are you doing? And then that's a prompting. So then I send them a card, which they won't get for a week or more later. And then, um, yeah, 10 to 12, you know, they used to say it takes six to eight touches for somebody to remember who you are and what you do. And now in this age, day and age, it's more like 
12 to 15. So <clears throat> yeah, if I do 12 to 15 touches to a bunch of different people, over time, they will have gotten 10 to 12 touches from me and they'll know more about what I do, who I am, all that stuff. And it's the, um, like the, the prompting that you have to make sure you don't ignore, I think, you know, we've heard, you and I have heard the story about Cody's brother so long that we probably could tell the story. But um, I think the whole point was something that's so easy that's why you have it on the phone. That's why it's easy to do on the laptop is, but make sure that you just stop yourself and do it or put it on a, like sometimes when I'm really busy, I can't even do it on the phone, but I send myself an email in the subject line. I put card to peg or whatever I'm supposed to be doing so that to get it out of my email, I've got to do the card. I won't, I won't delete the email until I've done the card. So it's, it's making well, it's sure that you do those things. Was well, it see, Jim Rohn or somebody else who said things that are easy to do are also easy not to do? And All so right. you need to make sure it's easy for you to do it. So I love that. Send yourself a message. I send myself text messages all the time. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's and, Jim Rowan. What were you going to say, Maureen? And I did, Peg, I don't know if you remember this, but a while ago we were on a Zoom together and you said that you go on the phone and you make yourself a card and you put the person's picture. So then when you get back to your laptop, it's there so you know what you were. So I started doing that too. And that helps me a lot. Yeah, it's in an, um, what do they call it? The um, drafted cards. Yep. Yeah, and that's, that's a big help. Thanks for reminding us of that, Maureen. I, I do that all the time. Yeah, I started doing that because I would, I because what I, I would, it would be such a young pro process. I would save it to my gallery and then I would send it to myself on in Messenger and then I would, but then when you said that, I was like, that makes so much more sense and it's so much easier. Well, and back to your point of 15 minutes at a time, I'll take a bunch of pictures, save them to my phone. Then the next 15 minutes I make a, you know, I upload the photo to send out cards. And then I usually do my cards in the evening because I like to go to bed with that nice, oh, look at, I made the world a better place kind of gratitude thing. <laughs> and then they're all there ready for me to make. And it makes it so much easier. Mm hmm um, I put white pages up there again, whitepages.com, because I usually try to get everybody's birthday because that's just an easy one to do, you know, mm -hmm. to, so I may not remember to send them something for a while, but then I'm going to end up getting them because everyone has a birthday. So everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone has a birthday. Everyone has a birthday, <laughs> whether they like it or not, whether they like it or not. <laughs> So, so the, the trick here this week is make sure you get out there and send some cards. Maybe I know the, the challenge is 20 days, 10 cards in 20 days, but let me challenge you to at least a card a day, a card a day, because you'll be surprised if you're consistently doing that, what it will do for your business. Even if you just started sending a thank you card a day and it was, maybe it's not to a customer, maybe it's just somebody that gave you a referral. Like the one that gave me that referral that I ignored for a year, I still sent her thank you for the referral. You know what I mean? It And it was a long time between the time I took care of it and that was bad, but I did take care of it. I jumped back in and took care of it. So I think- I'm gonna send some cards with the new products to customers that have ordered on my online store in the past. And they don't order a lot, but they order every few months. So- Oh, I bet they'll like it. Them. Yeah, there's a lot of new new stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah. it's September, so it's a new month. And then we have fall on the 21st of September is the official first day of fall. And then we already talked about Halloween. So lots of good reasons to um, be sending cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank you. I mean, uh, Thanksgiving is actually a better holiday to send the holiday card than Christmas because yeah. all the other all the other but this would be a Christmas. sneak peek of the holiday ones coming up yeah no I no I I get what you mean I'm doing that too mm -hmm. yeah stealing all the pictures that I got from Facebook right I did I did take a bunch of my own but I I missed a few that I knew would be on Facebook like the slippers and those are always a big seller so yeah I'm gonna Isn't go grab one of those yeah 
Yeah, I, do, I don't wear slippers personally, but I sell a lot of slippers. <laughs> yeah, I love the slippers. Yeah. This one's out now. This one's sold out. Yeah. Oh, which I nice. love. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah. Remember the shirt? This is from, I don't know. Oh, why. I've got that shirt. Yes, I like that one. I like the cold shoulders. Yay. <laughs> well, anyway, we are do you, done real quick. Today. Um, Lisa, do you remember this ring from, I don't, a few yes, years I do. ago? Yes. I think I got that ones one. coming out almost exactly like that for and the minute I saw that ring I went and got this one and I was like now I can have a matching set nice yeah we did we had fun there I, I don't think we've ever had any that were exactly the same so they must look at them to a point but I've yeah. got four big trays of rings so I would love yeah, someday to see how you store your jewelry I do buy yeah. a lot of rings yeah me too and I do like, oh, this is one from a while back too. Yeah, but that's one of ours. Oh, that's, I like that uh, one. I don't know if that's a sterling one. Maybe, maybe. I believe I it is. It. It yeah. Looks like I, it. I still don't wear it in the water though. <laughs> yeah, I got to stop doing that myself. Yep. Well, see, that's why everything's a rule. See, you have a rule about it, then you won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go put this up on YouTube in case you want to watch the replay. Thank you very much. I always appreciate you. And I'll be talking about um, customer uh, creating unique and memorable customer experiences with Mr. Jeff tonight. So hop on in 7 to 7.30. And I'm also going to be um, promoting the 10... 10 card challenge for $20 tonight because uh that'll give people a chance to try it out because I think it's I think it's that important it's so easy and inexpensive to send a thank you card to a customer I'm shocked that everybody's not doing it I guess I don't yeah, know I I'm, had a, I'm shocked by that go ahead I had a realtor friend reach out to me a week or two ago about it she hasn't signed up yet but yeah, and they usually do. They usually do something. They promote that in real estate school. That's what, yeah, Lisa Scullins does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any idea how she did through the hurricane? Because I know it went through Savannah, where my sister used to live before she moved to North Carolina. Oh, Scullins in Georgia, though. Yeah, in Savannah. Right, and, but and it went right through Savannah. Oh no, I think she's fine. Okay, she's good. Fine. Yeah. So yeah, I thought she lived more up by Atlanta. No, she lives in Savannah. I only know that because I reached out to her as far as selling my sister's house oh. when she moved. But then my sister's company that she went with in North Carolina took over selling the house and all that for her. So, oh, okay. which was, yeah, unfortunate, but yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been there too, sadly. I didn't remember it was near Savannah, so. Yeah, I know yeah. that's sad. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you. And Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye.